there, and welcome to the Top of Texas channel. Well, Tumbleweeds, we're going to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart, and that is fall. I love fall weather. Football season, cool weather, changing of the leaves. We've got bird migrations, all kinds of transitions going on. And today we're going to talk about something very interesting. It's a different kind of migration. We're going to talk about the monarch butterfly which is the official state insect of the state of Texas. And this is one of the best times of the year to see them, and that is due to the great migration as they are heading down to the south for their warmer climate areas. It's fall right now, as I mentioned before, and the monarch is migrating from the northern areas down to its wintering locations. Some winter along the Southern California coast, while others will pass through Texas and head into Mexico. The temperature and environment let the butterflies know when it's time to migrate, and they get some assistance through uh, the wind currents, and uh, that's very important to them as they start heading south. They will also cluster from time to time as they move south in uh, Central and South Texas, as it's common to see these clusters and trees and shrubs during migration. So keep your eyes open and uh, maybe you'll see them doing their their clustering sessions as they move south. It's such a beautiful phenomenon to see also. It's, uh, you know, here in my area I've seen them uh, moving through. I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and, you know, I frequently head out for uh, outdoor activities, taking nature walks and things like that. So I've started to see them coming through uh, recently and I expect there to be more as we keep pushing into October. But one interesting I, uh, thing I learned this summer is when I spent some vacation time in Iowa, I noticed that a lot of the local farmers in some of their ditches and some of the uh, areas on the farm where they're not gonna put in their cash crops like corn and soybeans, a lot of them had been putting in natural grasses, natural uh, plants to the to the Midwest, but they also planted a lot of milkweed. Milkweed helps uh, the monarchs reproduce, and it also provides nectar that they need. Some see the weed as a pesky kind of a thing there, the milkweed, but it, it plays such a very important role in the environment, especially for the monarch butterfly and its reproductive cycle. The abundance of nectar providing plants is also very important for the butterflies as they're living and then during the migration. They need the nectar to survive and uh, you know that's going to ensure that they make it through the migration. Like right now in Texas and you know parts of the Midwest, marigolds are starting to pop up and those are uh, a great plant uh, for nectar gatherers as well for here in the fall. So a couple more things. Hopefully you will see our state insect during the fall. Get out there, take a look, and hopefully you catch it during the migration. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, it's a very special time of year for that. So that's going to be it for today. Thanks for uh, coming down this Texas trail we got here on this new channel, the Top of Texas uh, channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye-bye.